Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to show you guys how to um, create a simple text RPG or game or trivia game or whatever in Notepad using batch file programming language. So let's open up a new text document in Notepad. There are a couple commands you're going to have to know. The most important one, in my opinion, is echo. Echo allows you to have command prompt display text on the screen. For example, um, if you wanted the program to say, um, hello, this is my first program, then you would go echo, hello, this is my first program. So we have echo. We also have at echo off. And along with CLS, it will like activate part of the application. And then we have um this code. I know it looks complicated, but I'll explain it. And this code will set a choice. So if you want your player of your game to have to choose between any amount of things, then you put this. Another one we need to know is go to. Go to will bring you to another part of the program. So, for example, if we have um, echo, so let's say our program is this. Hello. After that, we're going to put pause. So, it'll pause the program until there's a key input. Then we'll put go to whatever part of the program you want. And after the go to, you put a space and you always have to put a colon right there. So we have go to. And those are pretty much all the commands you're gonna need to know. So let's make, first of all, let's make a simple game. So we're gonna start with at echo. Let's start off with this. We're gonna put colon start CLS at echo off. Then you can echo whatever you want the text to. So you can say like by, or you can first put the name of the game. Let's say test game. And you can put by your name. So now you can display whatever text you want to play the player to hear before they have to make a choice. So And every time you type a new line with enter, you have to put echo again. So now let's use the choice. So let's say the robot approaches. And then you can have two choices. You can have to fight the robot you can have the player press Y or any other key you want. And to run, press, let's say, N. So now we're going to, this is where the choice comes in. So I am just going to paste that and, but so let's walk through it real quick. So this sets the choice as evidenced by what it says right there. Right here is going to be the message that tells the player how to choose. 
So we're going to say choose fight or run and press enter. Now look here where it says go to like before. Now, one of them is going to be fight, and one of them is going to be run. Now, these aren't just going to appear out of nowhere. You're going to have to create them. This echo here just makes a blank line of space. So, let's create fight first. So, what we're going to do is, like at start, we're going to put fight. We're going to put fight, but with a colon before it. So, then we put CLS at echo off so now you can have it display whatever you want let's say now if you have a game over scenario and you want the player to go back to the beginning, then you can say to start to start over press any key and then have put pause so it pauses for a key input then have go to start. Now if you look see up at the top that start, so it'll just go back to the beginning. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of sick. All right, so now let's have run. So put the CLS at echo off. Echo, let's say you run from the robot and get away. So now you can have pause go to escape. Now escape again you'll have to create it. So now let's say escape there's another choice here. So you arrive in a town, you see an armor shop. So you can have another choice to buy armor. Press Y to not buy armor. Press and sorry for the hysterical laughing noises upstairs, there are some guests. Um, okay. So now we put the set choice command in again. Except this time we're gonna change it a bit. Instead of fight and run, we're going to have buy or avoid. And we're gonna change this too. So, like before, you're just going to create, buy, and avoid as you wish. And you can just repeat this process. If you want th th there to be a game over option, then you can just have it go back to any point in any of these areas of the program. So, that's pretty much it. And if you want to run the program, so, if you want to run the program and save it as a as a real game in command prompt save the type to all files and put like whatever you want your game name to be game name here and you have to put dot bat at the end otherwise it won't work so do that and now look here it is now you open it. So now we can fight the robot or we can run. Now there's nothing beyond this program. So let me show you one of my already created RPGs. So as you can see, I've programmed this through Notepad just like the other one. 
It's pretty similar to the old one. That's what I'm basing it off of that I just made for you guys. So let's just go through this real quick and you kind of see how it works. Yeah, I know, it's pretty cheesy. Sorry, that's a little glitch that I need to fix right there. So here's the end. So as you can see, it's really simple. Um, batch programming is somewhat limited. But if you're just beginning at this stuff, or you just want to make something really fast and simple, then you can use notepad and batch programming. There are various other types of programs you can make too, but I will show that in another video. Alright, thanks for watching.